Welcome to this broom tutorial. Let me show you how I made this witch accessory for my costume. For this item, you can use wire, garden gloves, garden scissors, small scissors for the wool and wool or another type of string to secure the limbs around the big stick. I happened to have this little bushy tree that needed a cut, so I used a couple of small limbs from this one. Use one long limb or stick. I found one in the forest. A cleaning cloth. The big stick needed a short cleaning and those smaller limbs needed to be delieved or the leaves taken off of them. I don't know if delieved is a word or I just made that up. Determine how long you imagine your broom to be in the end. Take some slightly thicker limbs from all the smaller ones and bind them beside each other in a certain length. doesn't have to be the complete length, it's just to stabilize around the stake. And therefore I used my wire wound it around each single one twice to then go to the next one like so and of course you continue this with all the thicker sticks so that you have at least one round around your big broomstick once you have enough of those wind it around the broomstick and then you can just simply tuck the end of the wire under And then the fun part starts. I mean, I'm just kidding. My facial expression looks so concentrated and slightly grumpy in kind of this entire video. But honestly, I enjoyed all of the making here. I just gathered a couple of small, thin limbs, bound them around the slightly bigger ones, and secured them with a little bit of wool. I think the leaves still attached at the tips of the limbs create a cool effect on the broom. Now tucking under the wool, under a couple of limbs, just worked perfectly. First of all, it's going to be covered with more and second of all, it's just holding itself basically in place. I not only bound the limbs as you see here around the first ones but I also stuck a lot of them in between and underneath the wool and some even under the wires so that the entire thing creates tension within itself. Now to finish off the broom let me show you this technique here on a piece of example. We need the string or this wool and you first need the loop with a short end and a very long end. Start where the short end is, but leave a little bit of the short end sticking out. This is important. Now you see me here wrapping the longer piece around this loop. This loop has to be covered. That is done on purpose. Once I've looped enough around the broomstick, or the stick in this case, you here see me pulling. I pull it through the loop that I left out in the end to then pull the short string end to have the end of the thread under all this looped part. And then you can simply snip off the ends because it will hold itself in place. Here you see how you can do this on the broom. I have to admit I did do a couple of rounds and just made a normal knot first just to have everything stay in place but that doesn't matter. I did use this loop technique, push the end through Hold it and it's super super secure.
Now, I wasn't very happy with the outgoing of this for now, so I gathered some more limbs and put them into the center, and this is what I secured with some more wire. So make sure that from the beginning you have enough limbs for the thickness you want the room to be. If you also made a costume or more costumes, I would love to see it. Here is my Instagram and Facebook. Please hashtag me. I would love to see what you made. If you want to see how I made the cloak, click here. If you want to see how I made the hat, you have to click here. And here you find all the fancy outtakes. Do you dare to see the witch's dance?